This is a 1995 Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. Back in 1995, people absolutely loved Toyota Tacoma pickup trucks. Currently today, in the year 2020, people still love Toyota Tacoma pickup trucks. Now what I can explain to you about a Toyota Tacoma like this right here, I want you to really dive down into your brain and think, 1995 Tacoma with 221,000 miles, four-wheel drive automatic transmission still being sold at a used car lot in the Carolinas today for $8,900. Basically, at 100 bucks on roundup, $9,000 with tax, 9,500 bucks. A lot of people say, wow, that's a lot of money for a 1995 Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. But in reality, just like Jeep Wranglers, these trucks hold their value extremely well, as you can see what I'm talking about. So let's walk through and check it out. No, I'm not Doug DeMiro. I'm Chad Dolbier that's been here filming on YouTube on this channel since 2011, and I started back in 2008. But one thing I can tell you, I love automobiles, I love selling them and marketing them, and I hope you can continue to watch this Tacoma video. So let's head back over to Southern Motor Company and check it out. What's up everybody? Stay with us today here on Charleston Car Videos. We're going to be taking a look at, you got it, the 1995 Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. All right everybody, so here's our 95 Toyota Tacoma. Man, oh man, what a nice truck. First off, be grateful everybody that you actually found this truck if you're out there searching for one for sale right now because currently we're in the beginning of November 2020. So if you're finding this truck today or maybe a week from today and it's still available, please get in contact with me as soon as possible so you can be able to have an opportunity to buy this truck. Anyways, my name is Chad, and I do work at Southern Motor Company here in the heart of North Charleston, South Carolina. You know, currently right now we got hunting season going on, so I know there's a lot of guys and gals here in the Carolinas looking for maybe a little pickup truck to get out in the woods with, throw a, a, a box on the back, get out there and have a good time, right? Or maybe you just want a truck to do some off-roading in. That would be this one, considering it is four-wheel drive. Or maybe you just want a Tacoma because you've always wanted a Tacoma, also known as a so anyways, here's your chance. This 95 Tacoma is priced out at $8,900 or best offer. So after watching this video today, if you go, man, Chad, I really like that truck. I really want that truck, but I only got this much or only got that much. Just call me and let me know. We may be able to make something happen for you. So we're always open to making offers with customers or letting them make offers to us and making something happen. So think about that. Also, if you need financing, don't stress it. Come by and see us. Believe me, I've gotten vehicles financed before with over 200,000 miles of this age. So that is definitely a possibility as well. Now it's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm gonna kind of move as quick as I can to get this little truck on camera for you. And then we're gonna go out and test drive it. So as I always do, I take a look at the current condition of a truck so you can see it. You know, I've always liked the glass headlights, you know? You don't have to worry about them fading out or anything like that. Good old Sylvania halogens, you know? The grill looks pretty good. You know, we haven't done a whole lot to the truck as far as uh, other than just getting it detailed and cleaned up and making sure everything's running good with a nice fresh set of tires and good brakes and all that and cold AC. But what I can tell you is we're leaving this truck so somebody can buy it. And if they want to do some fixing up, they can do that. Here's the motor, just a little four cylinder, 16 valve. Runs like a top. Looks like it might have a K and an air filter in there. But that's your little motor. Usually we do the motor at the end of the video, but I'm going ahead and getting it done right now for you. Another good thing about the truck is it's not a rust bucket, okay? It hasn't been all rusted out. It's actually in pretty decent shape. And this can be cleaned up a little more in here, but hey, in reality, this is the motor and it looks pretty decent. 
we don't have any major oil leaks or anything like that going on. So, not bad. There you go. Good, solid truck. Other things people always ask about when they're looking at Jeep Wranglers and Toyota pickups, stuff that's got a little lift, you know, four-wheel drive, you know, how is the underbody of the car, the undercarriage, right? Is it rusted or anything like that? That's not the case on this vehicle, and we'll show you under there in just a minute. It does got a nice new set of 33 and a halfs, looking pretty good. So 33s with the 12.5s on a 15-inch silver steely, and you do got the lock-in hubs and all right there. I think the back in the day you used to call them the Warrens. But anyways, you got that. This is like the real deal off-road four-wheel drive vehicle. You got that going on. Under here, it looks like you got the little hockey pucks in there to give it a little more height to bring it up off the ground. You know, somebody at some point may want to add in a uh, inner fender liner, but uh, this is the way it is right now, and this is how we're selling it. I love the little blue splash or, or little graphic down the side. Really kind of flows nicely with the white. You got your pinstripe right here. Mirrors are in good shape. Those are in good shape. Also, folks, the front windshield's in great shape. There's no uh, rock chips in it. There's no cracks. You don't have to put new wipers on because those are already good to go. No window tint. So if you want to get some window tint, do that yourself later down the road. It does got the little mud flaps, and it does got a little right here going on, a little bar. Open your door. To get in, you just put your foot here and put your hand there, pull yourself up, and sit inside the vehicle. It is an automatic, and again, it does have four-wheel drive. We'll show you the inside in just a moment. Also has a lock here on the gas door. A back window that opens and closes so you can throw that chocolate lab a bone. Rear end looks good. Again, it's got that iconic Toyota Tacoma look in the back. Tow package. Back bumper's in good shape. And again, the, the tailgate looks fantastic. No dents, dings, or anything like that. I mean, truly, the truck is in good shape. I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of dents, dings on it to begin with. And it runs really well. I mean, it's been sitting out here running now for a good 15, 20 minutes since we've been doing the photos and all that. So there's your little Toyota truck. All right, guys and girls, let's keep moving forward. Just so you can see, open that up. Drop it down. Booyah. And then under the truck, if you can see all that, there we go. Again, it's not a rust bucket. There's always room for improvements, but again, you don't have to stress about the undercarriage of the vehicle or the frame being rusted out. Okay? And it does have a spare tire slash fifth wheel right there okay all right let's keep moving through i know some people may say oh well chad it does have a little rust or this that and the others maybe it has a little corrosion here or there but again it's not like we're pushing through and uh you know stuff's just flaking and falling off okay again good solid 95 we would never have bought this vehicle or even put it on our lot out here if we thought it was a rust bucket just trying to get that out there right out of the out of the gates because i know some of y'all may be traveling from north carolina or just outside of the charleston area to get it and i want you to know you, you're coming to really buy a decent truck here um, for what it is all right, it does have the old school gray interior with a little blue right in there roll up windows we did add some seat covers onto our seats okay in black the next thing people are going to ask okay it has a sunroof does the sunroof leak no it doesn't not to my knowledge we've had rain over the last 24 hours it's actually drizzling and raining right now and none of the interior is wet inside of here okay you know if it was wet from last night's downpour we had you know the seats would be wet the carpets would be wet I have not vacuumed it out and dried it out just to do this video. Believe me, guys and girls, I did not put that much effort into to, to getting it on a camera to be able to trick somebody on that. This does not have a leaky sunroof up top, so you're good to go. I will go ahead and show you as much as I can of that. All right, there you go. Moving right along. It does have 221,000 miles. 
no check engine lights, and practically a full tank of gas. Compliments of Southern Motor Company. Every car that comes in at our store gets a full tank of gas, or at least pretty close. Automatic transmission, four wheel drive does work. It's got a CB radio with a Radio Shack speaker, a Sony radio system, and I'm pretty sure the AC blows cold, which we'll find out here in just a moment. All right, guys, stay with me. I'm going to stop recording, get the camera off the tripod, and let's go ahead and take it for All a right, drive. Everybody, we're sitting inside the Tacoma. Go ahead and cut this on. Okay, the little light for AC right there does not cut on. But we're going to let this run for a minute and see how things work and make sure it gets cold. It does have the e-brake right here for some of y'all that remember that from back in the late, early 90s. Okay. And uh, I love the, the look of the, uh, of the gauge clusters and all. You know, it's got like, it's just got that 80s, early 90s look about it. You know, with the little, the little squares and the lines and all that. You know, just has that look about it. Engine sounds pretty decent under there. I'm gonna go ahead and roll our window down. And uh, headlights are on. Um, this does kind of hang down like that, just so you know. This one is fine though, which is a good thing. This one doesn't hang down. And uh, yeah. All right, let's put her in, uh, put her in drive. Yeah, this really reminds me of my 2001 4Runner. Had that same kind of big, big knob going on there. And uh, as you can see, headroom. I'm six foot one. Got plenty of headroom in here, so don't stress about headroom if you're taller. And uh, plenty of legroom down on the bottom, as you can see right there as well. So a, a guy that's six foot one or even six three could sit in here and be comfortable somewhat. And a guy that's 200 pounds to 220 could be fine. All right. If you're smaller, fantastic. All right, she's in drive. Let's go ahead and run her down the road and see how she does. I'm gonna turn this down just for the purpose of not having noise with the uh, with the fans in the background. Because I really want y'all to be able to experience this truck as as nicely as you can on the video and hear it running and all that. So I'm gonna kind of quiet down a little bit and just drive. Acceleration feels pretty decent. It is just a little four-cylinder motor. There we go. You know, with it having a lift on it, you know, it's understandable for the steering to not be like exactly dead on. Again, we are driving a 95, but we'll talk about that a little more as we continue to drive. Brakes are doing a good job. They stopped. The air conditioner is not blowing ice cold right now. It's kind of more of a cool. So anyways, it may need some Freon added to the system or something like that. Let's get out on the highway. Acceleration isn't too bad. Looks like we got a train coming, so we're gonna actually uh, turn off on a side street here.
And uh, yeah, it seems to drive pretty pretty decently here. Let's go ahead and do a little U-turn. Um, turn radius is good. Didn't uh, didn't feel like it was rubbing on the uh, fenders or anything like that when we were turning, so that's a plus. I'm gonna go down this little road right here. Slow down a little bit, don't want to drive right through that water puddle considering we just had the truck cleaned up nicely. All right, everybody, I hope you're enjoying today's video of the Tacoma. Again, if you really are in the market to buy a little truck like this, please come and see me at Southern Motor Company in North Charleston, South Carolina. I'd be more than welcome to help you get exactly what it is you're looking for. And don't forget, we have all types of vehicles. There's a Chevy Bolt EV, BMW, Volvo, Mercedes, Jeep, more Tacomas as you can see, Hummers, GTRs, Porsches, S2000s, all types of vehicles again at Southern Motor Company. We're here to help you right here in the Carolinas. Again, if you're in the market, please don't hesitate to stop by and do business with us. All of us that work here, we're cool car guys. We love automobiles. We love working with customers to help them get and achieve what they've always wanted. Thank you so much. I hope us doing these videos is taking an extra step to really show you who we are and what we're about. And I appreciate the time. And with that being said, if you can, please hit the like button. Please subscribe, send a comment, and keep watching these videos. We'll see you soon.